Today I'm going to show you how to change out the battery on a Dell XPS laptop. I'll put my exact model number in the video description, but most of these Dell laptops are very similar. So regardless of what model you have, hopefully this video will show you how simple it is to do this job and give you the confidence to do it yourself. One obvious sign that you'll need a new battery is if you notice your touchpad lifting up. The location of these batteries is right under the touchpad in the, in the laptop case. And so as you can see here, my touchpad is moving up and away from my case, indicating that my battery is swelling. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the back plate. You'll do this with a T5 Torx screwdriver and you'll remove 10 three millimeter screws. Next, we'll use a Phillips head number double zero screwdriver to remove two eight and a half millimeter screws that are underneath this flap on the back of the laptop that says XPS on it. Next, we'll slowly and carefully pry the back cover off and set it aside. Next, we'll once again use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove the seven four millimeter screws that are holding the battery into the laptop. This next part is probably the most intricate part of the whole process, and I'd recommend using tweezers or a pick to make it easier. Use your tool to slowly disconnect the connector of the battery to the laptop. I'll push on one side and then the other as I slowly work it off until it'll easily slide off with my fingers. Once the connector is free, I'll gently lift the battery out of the laptop and set it aside for proper disposal later. Definitely don't throw these batteries in your trash, especially the ones that are swelling. I'd recommend doing a Google search for electronic recycling around your area, and usually you can find somewhere that'll accept these batteries. Now it's time to put in our new battery. I got my new battery off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Just please make sure to double check that the model you're changing out is compatible with the battery that I've used. We're just gonna work the same actions in reverse now. So we'll start off by placing our new battery and lining it up into the laptop and then connecting the connector. We're gonna slowly work it on with our fingers. This will just push in and you really shouldn't have any kind of resistance. So if you are getting resistance, go ahead and stop and make sure that you're aligned correctly. Once you get it on far enough, now you can use your pick to kind of get that last part on and just work it from side to side, slowly pushing it in to make sure that we don't jam anything in there or break anything as we're reconnecting. We'll resecure the battery with the four millimeter screws on our Phillips head screwdriver. And then while I have the case off, I'm gonna go ahead and use a air blower to just gently blow out any kind of dust and dirt that's gotten into the laptop over the years. Next, I'm gonna put my back plate back on, but before I secure it, I'm gonna go ahead and just press it on firmly, flip over the laptop and check that the battery is working and the laptop will turn on. As you can see here, my trackpad is back down where it's supposed to be. You're definitely gonna to wanna to double check and make sure your buttons are still working in a trackpad. Sometimes the battery swells so much that you end up damaging uh, some of the clicking actions that happen on the trackpad. So once you get the laptop on, double check that. My power is working great, so I'll go ahead and secure the back plate now. With the back plate now secured and everything back together as it's supposed to be, I'll go ahead and turn it on one more time and just make sure I haven't affected anything during that last part. The laptop's back on, everything looks great, so I'm ready to call this a successful project. If this helped you out or if you have any questions, let me know below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next project.